A 13-year-old has officially been charged with the murder of Shakur Hassan, who was gunned down on a West London street in October. Now, if you remember, this was a young man that was murdered, executed, assassinated, take your pick. But whatever you want to class this unfortunate demise as, he was killed just yards away from Hayes Town Centre, an area that is popular and well-lit. He was only 23 years old. Now despite the best efforts of a 15 year old girl that actually came to Shakur Hassan's aid until paramedics arrived, unfortunately he was pronounced dead at the scene a short while later. After the shooting, police found a burnt out car a few miles away in which police believed could have been possibly used as the getaway vehicle. Again, the vehicle was abandoned and burnt out to a crisp. Now the only reason you'd burn out a vehicle is to get rid of DNA evidence. So this also leads to the likely scenario that this was a targeted attack. Now the 13 year old vermin who can't be named for legal reasons, but in order to shoot a grown man, you can almost predict that this kid is a scapegoat for someone else. Because my first question would be, who the hell enabled a 13 year old to get his hands on a gun? And my second question would be, what kind of things do a 13 year old and a 23 year old possibly have in common? There's none. One person of school age, and Shakur was of a working age, experiencing different things in life. So, the unnamed 13 year old has been charged with killing Shakur Hassan. Along with this serious charge, he is also accused of perverting the course of justice. Now this is a complex situation, but there's multiple charges of murder pertaining to multiple suspects. 21 year old Gulad Hassan of Southall has also been charged with murder. A 16 year old boy who again cannot be named for legal reasons has also been charged with murder too. And a 46-year-old, Jamie Aries of Norfolk, has also been charged with murder. That's four people charged with murder. That's four people who the Metropolitan Police have established as playing a significant part in the death of a 23-year-old man, for whatever reason. At the time of the death, flowers, candles and balloons were left at the crime scene on Austin Road by friends and family. One card read, R.I.P. bro, forever in my head, the kindest soul fallen. Rest in eternal peace. Another card read, sleep tight. And the third card read, love you always. Both the 13 year old and Gulad Hassan are due to appear at Oxbridge Magistrates Court on Tuesday. All I can say is again, Shakur Hassan, rest in peace. Safe.